Did you know that animals are excellent engineers? They can design and build astonishing structures. But to do that, they don't need to spend several years in universities, reading books weeping over drawing plates. All these things come naturally because their skills influence their natural habitat. Animals have been doing it for thousands of years, and they have beaten us. As we started creating technologically complicated structures not long ago, if compared to them. So, today we want to show you 10 Extraordinary Engineers Animal World. 10. Sociable Weaver Nest We know birds are good at building nests, but some of them are real talents at engineering. Sociable weavers, for example, build nests that look from a distance like giant haystacks growing onto the trees. They use a variety of different materials to create their unusual apartment block. Sociable weavers make their nests using larger sticks as its basic structure, with dry grasses and soft grasses as cushions. Social weavers also add some security with the help of sharp straw spikes that lay in each entrance. Other birds, including birds of prey, sometimes construct their nests on top of the structure. They almost never nest separately and form enormous nest structures on the trees. So, you can see hundreds of nesting chambers and they are enough to roof an entire colony of birds. The largest known nests are home to up to 400 birds. 9. A Blind Mole Rat Mole rats are a great danger for those who want to gather a good harvest in their vegetable gardens. All these creatures want to do is to grab hold of everything that grows there and hide it in their storerooms. Sometimes people mix up this animal with its distant relative, a talpe or moles. But blind mole rats differ from them greatly in the way of digging their burrows. And these burrows are impressive. Blind mole rats do that with their teeth. The animal sinks its teeth into the ground and throws it out by its head. At the end, they have a very long labyrinth of several layers. The first layer is one foot underneath the ground, and there the animal keeps its food supplies. The second one is about 13 feet underground. There is a storeroom and summer and winter nest. That tunnel may have up to 10 sections and be up to 500 yards. 8. Montezuma or Pandola Have you ever heard the name Montezuma or Pandola? We think you don't. Actually, this is a small bird that has not only an extraordinary name, but an outstanding way of making nests. These little creatures use vines to weave the pendulous baskets. They fix their nests with the strongest vines, adding other vines and fibers until the nests are completed. They make great colonies, grouping the nests together. These constructions are often located in high, isolated trees. The birds are really crafty. They hang their nests from the unsteady far ends of the branches. That turns hungry monkeys against trying to climb out to eat the birds' eggs. Montezuma or pandolas also use another way to discourage predators. They often build their nest colonies in trees where hornets live. 7. The Caddisfly Larva Being a small larva living in the water, this tiny creature had to find a very effective way to protect itself from predators. And it did. It decided to make a case of stones like a real stonemason. The gland under the chin of an insect works like a tape dispenser producing a sticky silk that bonds the pebbles together. The coolest thing is that this tape bonds even being wet, and the larva has no trouble constructing its case entirely underwater. The construction of the cases really needs advanced engineering techniques. These techniques result in buoyancy, resistance in the water environment. 6. Rufus Hornero most birds build their nests of twigs, but not this South American birdie, named Rufus Hornero. These creatures prefer something more solid. That's why they build extraordinary earthen nests in trees. Rufus Hornero gathers mud and dung to create a bowl high atop tree branches. As a real potter, 
it uses heat to make the nest dry and hard. The sun bakes the nest to create a hardened shelter where the birds can lay their eggs. The nest is oriented to face away from the blowing winds too. And, of course, these birds have all the necessary skills to do that from birth. 5. Corals Coral reefs allow nobody to stay indifferent. And the rave of colors and fantastic forms boggles imagination. But do you know that all these astonishing structures are built by tiny soft organisms? Coral polyps? These little ones secrete layers of calcium carbonate beneath their bodies. The coral polyps build the reef, having symbiotic relationship with microscopic algae called zooxanthellae. The polyps offer the algae shelter, while the zooxanthellae create energy through photosynthesis. This energy is like food for corals, and the colorful structures make skeletons for these organisms. 4. A Green Tree Ant This unique insect engineer lives in the forests of Australia. The Australian green tree ant is also called the weaver ant. This name comes from a skill to build a nest out of woven leaves. They build very big, sometimes the football-sized nests in a very tricky way. Worker ants pull several leaves together and bind them into place with a white sticky substance, which is created by their larvae. Worker ants carry the larvae in their jaws to the site, where the new construction must start. Then the workers squeeze the larvae lightly to make the silk. They use it to stick the leaves all together. If a leaf is out of reach of the group, they will form a structure that looks like an ant bridge. It helps them connect the leaf to the new nest. Constructed in trees, the nests are often difficult to see. 3. Vogelkop Whistler the males of Vogelkop whistlers can't sing beautiful song and have very plain feathering. But they can build amazing shelters, which they use just to attract females. They compete with other males, trying to create the most impressive house. The Vogelkop whistler males decorate the entrance of the shelter with different bright objects, berries, flowers and other things. The females are attracted by blue color most of all. That's why the males bring as much blue objects as possible. But sometimes all their efforts can have no effect and the demanding females choose someone else. 2. Termites Termites live in colonies of several millions of individuals. And they build real masterpieces of engineering construction. They create their iconic cone-shaped mounds that can reach 10 feet or even more in height. The one mound is known to be approximately 16 feet high. And the most astonishing fact is that it is only the top of the termite house. Termites construct their skyscrapers from the chewed remnants of woody trees, mud, and feces. The termite mound has a very complicated structure inside and has a lot of varied sections for different needs. These unbelievable constructions provide all sorts of comfort for the termite colony. The mound has excellent air circulation that allows for the mound to be kept air-conditioned. Yes, these insects even have taught human a lesson how to create air chambers with specific microclimate. This principle human use now in constructing tunnels, mines, and underground. Besides, Termites collect water as condensation and grow fungi gardens inside the mound. 1. Beavers Of course, our list wouldn't be complete without beavers, because they are the most famous animal architects. Beavers live in large families and work all together. They fall huge trees to create dams on rivers, which they build to make still ponds. There, these workaholic mammals construct their winter homes, or lodges. They create them from brushwood and mud. Sometimes the beaver lodge can be 10 feet high. The entrance is always under the water. Beavers are very skilled at weatherproofing. Each year, they prepare for winter by covering their lodge with a fresh coat of mud. It hardens to create a barrier against the cold and predators. The temperature is always above zero, even if it is freezing outside. 
The beaver dams can be really huge in size. The longest one was found in Wood Buffalo National Park in Canada. It was about 1,000 yards. We should say thank you to the beavers for water power plants and dams. These animals have taught us to build all this stuff. Are you impressed? We hope you are. And these animals are only a part of those creatures who make very complicated constructions. We would be happy if you write in the comments what animal engineers you liked most.